Hey everyone, Mr. Pisetsky here with your top 10 scholarship tips for all grades. Are you ready? Good, here we go. Number 10, create a separate email. Once you start applying for scholarships, you're going to be bombarded with emails. Creating a separate one just for scholarships is going to help you sort through everything and keep them organized. Number nine, to help with the organization, you're going to want to create a separate spreadsheet to track your scholarships. It could look something like this. Name of the scholarship, deadline, materials required, website, amount, and date you submitted it. And of course, just to give you an example, I made up a fake scholarship there, so you can see how it would look. Number eight, answer the question. If the question is, what is your favorite ice cream flavor, but you're talking about your favorite pie, it's not answering the question. Make sure you are addressing the question directly. Number seven, tell a story. If you're writing about uh, a vacation you went on, a trip you went on, or a game you, you won or lost, tell it as a story, uh, a personal reflection, uh, use adjectives, uh, make it really personal. That's what scholarship readers want to see. Number six, set aside at least two hours per week to search for scholarships. It takes a lot of time. There's uh, millions of scholarships out there with billions of dollars sitting and waiting to be earned. So take your time, but it does get overwhelming. So take about two hours per week. It's a good amount of time to commit to scholarship searches. Number five, it's a lot easier to earn five $1,000 scholarships than to earn one $5,000 scholarship. So don't let those little ones pass you by if you see a $250 scholarship or a $500 one, you think that's too little. Those are a lot easier to earn than the big ones. Number four, do not, whatever you do, do not enter college scholarship sweepstakes. What they do is they just take your content information, sell it, and you never win anything. So if you see anything like that, just close out those windows and don't uh, apply. Coming in at number three, do not pay anyone to help you look for or apply for scholarships. There are people who do this and they're legitimate people or decent people, but the money you would earn in scholarships, you'd have to use that to pay them. So it's you're not really gaining anything. Um, so no need to apply, I don't need to pay anyone to help you look for scholarships. Number two, have more than one person review your submission. This is really important because a lot of scholarship readers will look for grammar mistakes, content, sent sentence structure, all those things. So it's really important that you have a few pairs of eyes really review your submission and make sure it's all good before you enter it. And coming in at number one, I, I wish I had a drum roll, but I don't. So here it is. Apply often. There are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of students applying for scholarships every day. So do not get discouraged if you haven't gotten a scholarship in weeks or months. The more you apply, the more money you're going to get, the bigger the chances you have of getting those scholarships. So apply often. Keep applying, keep applying. Now, in order to do that, here are some scholarship websites to begin your search. College Board, FastWeb, Scholarships.com, CapEx, Chag, and Niche are all really good websites. 